In this video, we want to explain how you can enter, manage, and work with the process specific information in SMAP 3D PNID. We jump directly to the diagram page using the table of contents. As we can see in the intelligent line tag, water with a temperature of 60 degrees is pumped in here. When we hover the mouse over the pump, we see all the stored parameters at the cursor. Notice we have incorrect information. It says hot water and the temperature of 70 degrees. When we look at the valve, we see that neither the temperature nor the medium has a stored parameter, even though the data field already exists for this symbol. We add the data field for operating pressure. For the operating pressure, there is already a pre-configured list of values stored, but we could also type in the values for each data field individually for each symbol. Because this would be very time consuming, we want to use the Edit Symbol Data Fields tool to increase process efficiency. In the next step, we want to change the parameters of our valve and on the shutoff valves V2002 and V2003. When we open the tool, we first select that we want to read the data from this project and we're focusing on the current page only. We get a table where all symbols and their individual symbol data fields are listed. Now we can edit the values of different data fields from different symbols in the same window. We have the option to use pre-configured drop-downs and or manually entering data here as well. This can massively increase working speed and efficiency. Sometimes it can be helpful or even necessary to edit the data in a different program such as Microsoft Excel, for example. We go ahead and export the data and then we can open the table in Excel. Now we can work on the exported data with native Excel functions. In our example, we just want to change a few values. When finished, we save and close the Excel file and jump back over to PNID. We open the Edit Symbol Data Fields tool again, but select the Read from Excel option this time. We select our Excel file and then we get the table we were just working on. As soon as we apply the imported data, we get a pop-up that tells us how many values in the PNID were just changed. When we look at our components now, we see that the parameters medium, pressure, and temperature are now populated, and that the operating pressure of 1.5 bars that we just changed in Excel is written to our shutoff valve. In summary, we had a look at how you can add single symbol data fields and store parameters in it. Furthermore, we watched how you can use the tool Edit Symbol Data Fields to quickly edit multiple values at the same time and how you can export out to Excel and later re-import the data fields from Excel.